What's well, going on people and welcome back to my YouTube channel and if this is your first time seeing one of my videos why did you choose this one? Hmm? Hmm? Okay, you're here for tea. Yeah, okay. Pull up a chair because this tea is piping. Yeah, yeah, piping. And for my returning subscribers, you guys know I love you to the moon and back. Thank you so much for coming back each time to support me. By the title of this video, you guys know what's going on, yeah? You know, you know. Listen, <laughs> you guys are here for the drama and I'm here to deliver. Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Am I the villain? Am I the villain? Yes, I am. I'm going to be the villain today. So if you'd like to see things that we need to retire, frag come edition, please continue to watch. Welcome back my pebbles. So yes, this video should have been recorded from January, but you know me, Queen Procrastinator. This picture was circulating on Instagram late last year and I put my two pence in and at the bottom of it, I was like, do you know what? Should I do a video on this? And the replies I got, yeah, it was too much. I was like, yeah, let me just get this done. But then I was like, hmm, do I want to be the person that brings these things forward? And I'm like, do you know what? Let's bring you lot in, yes you lot so what i did was i went on my instagram and majority of the people that reply to me and interact with me i sent them the picture and i was like listen you can send three things you can send four you can send a whole list but tell me the things that annoy you that we do in the frag come yeah whether it be on youtube instagram tiktok wherever just tell us the things that you think that we should retire tell us things that annoy just just tell me whatever yeah so i got so many responses and I'm gonna be reading them out today because <laughs> why not? Who gonna check me? Exactly. Who gonna check me? Exactly. So yes, everything is screenshotted. So I'll be reading it off my phone. So if you do see me looking down, it's because I'm reading them off my phone, yeah? Should I start with my free first or should I go in with everybody else's? Do you know what? I'm gonna start with my free. I mean, why not? <laughs> So my number one is stop shaming people for not having niche in their collection, especially the fact that you may not have bought a single one in your collection. Yeah, I said it. These niche snobs are getting on my last nerve. Oh my God, I can't do design art. You'd never catch me wearing a celebrity fragrance. Shut up. Cause two, three years ago, tell me why you were wearing design art. Tell me why you were wearing celebrity fragrances. But now that you've dug the niche hole that you're stuck in, you're currently stuck. Cause somehow you can't get out. You, you're talking down on fragrances like designer, shut up. Listen to me, yeah, I do get it. Some of the designer fragrances, you might think they're generic or you know, you want something out of the box. So you go to your niche fragrances, but listen, not all of us want to smell like halitosis and vetiver and blood and sweat, do you know what I mean? We don't want to smell like that. Leave us to smell florally. Leave us to smell fresh and fruity, you get me? Stick with your niche, yeah? And this is another thing, niche knobs. <laughs> I don't want to see you doing anything else, yeah? Don't try to jump on a certain train because the videos seem to be popping, yeah? Stick with your niche fragrances, yeah? Stick with them. And listen, you can't have chat for me if 50% of your fragrance collection is gifted. Yeah, I said it. One, it shows that you can't be trusted. I don't even have to go further into that. So yeah, you can't have chat for me if 50% of your fragrance collection is gifted. So yeah, my number one for leaving things, you know, things we need to retire. Stop bashing people for not having niche in their collection. My number two is disclose the fact that you're being paid for a review. You did not buy that, it was sent to you. And that's 100% true. I'm tired of coming on here and seeing people profess their love for a certain fragrance that they clearly don't like or because their wallets are being lined with money. Here's the thing, I'm gonna come on your channel, you didn't disclose it, I'm gonna buy that fragrance and then when I get that delivered, I'm gonna come back to watch the review, smell the fragrance and I'm gonna be like, listen, what? This is chalk and cheese. Because what you're describing is not what I'm smelling because you lied to us because you're being paid, yeah? Let me tell you something. Not one single perfume that I've reviewed on my channel has been paid for. How many people can actually say that? Not a lot. I'm not saying, I'm not against collaborations. I'm not against none of that, yeah? But disclose it. Let us know you're being paid so we can judge accordingly. That's all we ask, yeah? That's all we ask. 
And my number three says, give credit to smaller YouTubers. You didn't discover that fragrance from a YouTuber with 100,000 subscribers. You saw it from a smaller channel. Hashtag stop capping for recognition. Again, 100% true. Numerous occasions I've had people come into my inbox and they're like, listen, I got this fragrance because I saw that video and oh my God, I'm going to do a review on it and I'm going to tag you. Fair enough. I'm like, you don't have to tag me because whenever I see or hear my name in people videos, I'm like, oh my God, people actually watch me. I'm still shocked to this point that people actually watch my videos yeah but then I go to watch their video the person that they tagged is someone with even two point something million subscribers or even over a hundred thousand and I'm looking at them like are you a dickhead do you think tagging that person that person is going to see the notification then run come to your inbox and leave a comment to say oh thanks for tagging me don't be stupid they're not going to do that give credit where credit is due you saw that fragrance on a smaller channel give us or accolades give it to us well my pebbles that was my free now i'm gonna go into my ah almost girl I nearly called you out. Now I'm going to go into my inbox and I'm going to read through what everyone else sent to me. Some of these might be a repeat because hello, we're humans and we do share the same sentiments. But yeah, I'm just going to go through these and let you guys know what, <laughs> yeah, what you guys said, isn't it? <laughs> so this beautiful soul said, let's cancel first impressions that don't have follow up videos. And I'm like, yeah so true how are you gonna come on here give me your first impression profess your love to this fragrance and then it just vanishes from your collection i'm sorry did you not love it enough for it to stay or <laughs> what's going on thing is for me i don't do first impressions let me get this out of the way first i have nothing against first impressions my thing is i just don't want to come on here and you know because with that first spray that you do when you open the package it could make or break a fragrance i don't want to be like oh raw first spray and everything i hate this fragrance but then a couple days down the line i put it down it's settled in my yard and then i love it i can't come back on here and be like oh guys my mind has changed i know some people love the honesty but you guys know me already i always test my fragrances for days before i come in here and run my mouth yeah but cancer first impressions that don't have a follow-up video yeah cancel it i won't lie to you this <laughs> this is a long one but yeah let's get into it she goes number one i think it's like the same like mine she says shaming people for wearing store brands you have roger money i wear zara and exactly because a lot of time my zara fragrance be lasting longer than your niche fragrances yeah i said it then she says, emphasis on your number three, credit to smaller YouTubers. It really irks me when people say, I saw this on, um, I don't remember their channel name. Well, damn Georgina, I can't meet my friggin' soulmate now. <laughs> This is true. This is true. Sometimes people know whose channel they saw it on, but they don't want to give that channel the recognition. Why? Do you think your subscribers are going to come over? Do you think we're going to steal your subscribers? Huh? Subscription is free. Yeah? I still, to this day, to this day, to this day, to this day, I still get people come on my channel and be like, oh my God, I just discovered you. I'm sorry, was I lost? <laughs> But I'm just saying, I don't mean that in a bad way though, please. I don't mean that in a bad way because I know how some of you people get, but I don't mean that in a bad way, you get me? But I'm like, give credit where credit is due. Yeah, simple as. Her number three says, this is kind of objective, but f it. YouTube is hard and respect to the people who do it. Thank you very much. But can we please retire scriptless and structureless videos? Oh, she said scriptless. Oh my God, I thought you were coming for me for a second because I always write a script for my videos because I hate the waffling. Me, I can chat for days. If I don't have a script, I just come on here and I'd waffle just like I'm doing now. Let's get back. Then she said, you know, make a 15 minute video and turn it into 37 minutes and 25 seconds. That is pretty precise. But I get where she's coming from. She goes, because you're talking about one thing and then you start talking about something else. You go off topic. She goes, that was cute in 2020, but we were inside the house and we had time. She goes, now please influence my purchase in a short amount of time. We're outside now. Yeah, girl, I get you. I hate doing long videos. <laughs> Sashana, Abele, Sienna, you guys know I hate doing long videos, but people keep requesting for me to do long videos. Listen to me. I want to be in and out like a quickie. I want to come in, grab your attention, tell you about the fragrance, cut. 
I, just go, leave, you get me? People have short attention span, you get what I mean? One notification that comes up on the top of the screen when they're watching your videos, they're gone. If you're not captivating your audience, they're gone, you get what I mean? How I do my videos is, for example, say I'm talking about five fragrances, yeah? Two minutes per fragrance or maybe a minute and a half per fragrance. Let's say two, yeah? So that's five fragrances, two minutes each, that's 10 minutes. That's the body of the, the video, yeah? One minute for my intro and one minute for my outro, yeah? So that's 12 minutes. Talking about five fragrance, 12 minutes. With my editing, <laughs> I can drop that down to like eight minutes, yeah? And then with my bloopers, maybe it goes up to 10, but that's how I structure my videos. And as she said, yes, long videos. Well, not some long videos are fine, but if your video is, as she said, 37 minutes and 25 seconds, and you're only talking about two fragrances, shut up, get up. Get up from in front of the camera. Two fragrances, 37 minutes and 25 seconds, bye. 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 <laughs> and her last one says, can we retire comparing everything to MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540? And she goes, insert, ah, ah, it's enough. Ah, ah, it's enough. Yes, it is enough. And she goes, even MFK is tired. And it's true. I'm damn sure he's tired. I am tired of everyone comparing everything to Baccarat Rouge 540. Girl, you, no lies were told. But remember, Red Temptation by Zara is a good tube. So if you don't have Baccarat money, check Zara. I got you, babe. On to the next person. This person says, we need to retire not being transparent. Just say if it's your brother's, girlfriend, sister, mom's, uncle, auntie, perfume company. And that is true. You guys don't have to worry about me. None of my family members, the person I'm with, no, no one is in the perfume industry. They don't have shares in any company or nothing. You guys know who this is about. You're not gonna drag me into the drama, but yeah, we need to retire not being transparent. Yeah, come on. How can I trust you if you're not being truthful to us? Okay, let's retire not being transparent. Her number two says, being on the fence. We need to retire being on the fence. If it's shit, it's shit. Your face gives it away. Just because you got it for free doesn't mean you have to like it. Listen, I don't even have to elaborate on that. We're moving on. Now this girl says, OMG, I was literally hoping for a video like this because I am tired. It feels like fragrance reviews are the same these days. And her number one goes, making Delina the be all and end all of a great perfume, girl. <laughs> Don't even get me started because you guys know me and Delina and how much I dislike Delina. But yeah, stop making, De yeah, stop it. Delina isn't the greatest fragrance of all time. No, please, bye. As I said, some of these might be repeat, but I'm just reading out everybody's thing. She goes, not disclosing that a perfume they previously raved about isn't actually that good. We need to know if they've changed their mind on a previously recommended perfume and why. This is what I'm saying. Transparency. Please be transparent with these subscribers, yeah? Because they're actually depending on you to spend their money. Imagine someone having their money in their account. They're coming to you for your honest opinion. You're going to be lying to them. Wow. Wow. You're not afraid of God? Then she went on to say, not disclosing how they get the perfume, you know, PR, sample bottle. Stop encouraging viewers to spend their money when that's not how they got it. Yeah, we went over this already. Yes. Listen to me. Her next one had me doing standing ovation. Round of applause. I was like, what? Yes. So her next one says saying, I can't describe it. It's just nice. Um, why are we here then? Exactly. Why are we here? Hmm? Why are we here? I'm coming to your channel. I'm coming to your video. I'm coming to your TikTok, your Instagram reel. I am coming to learn. How are you just going to be like, it's nice. Nice what? Nice like what? Hmm? Nice? No, I need more. Give me more. She goes on to say, I don't want to say this now because I know people might go to be, oh, I know who she's talking about. She goes on to say, uh, for example, let's not use the note. For example, someone goes, oh yeah, this has a note of sofa in there, but I don't know what sofa smells like. Um, Do your research. We're here to learn, yeah? I'm coming to your video, your TikTok, as I said, your reel. I'm coming to learn, yeah? Because I could easily go on the internet and look up what sofa smells like, but no, I want to come here and learn from you. Do you know what I mean? Do your research before you come and talk about fragrances. That's what she's saying, simple as. And her number five says, not talking about perfumes they don't like, to avoid offending brands. You guys know me already, I don't care. <laughs> Have you seen my Delina video? Okay, you would know, yeah. Okay, what? If I buy a, fra 
speaking about you see how i said if i buy if my money leaves my account and i bought the fragrance listen there's nothing a brand can say to me are you dumb my money are you gonna tell me how to rate the fragrance when i was the one that bought it Psst. bye on to someone else. This person says the constant haul slash declutter cycle, especially when they say that they really enjoy something and then a month or two later, they're getting rid of it. Exactly. Why are you doing perfume hauls and loving all of these fragrances? And in a couple of weeks down the line, the same fragrances that you love, you're decluttering. I know that people know this change, but I don't expect your nose to change that quickly, yeah? Let me let you in on a little secret. In the UK, you're not allowed to return fragrances. Once you buy them, it goes to your yard. Once you open it, it's yours. There's no way you can return fragrances. Someone, and I was shocked. Back in 2019, someone let me in on a little secret. Listen, I'm not saying everybody does this. I'm not calling anyone out because I'm not even going to say agenda because I know how some of you like to play detective and I ain't trying to get myself into trouble, yeah? But they said to me that there was a certain perfume reviewer that they would just buy up all of these fragrances, you know, like the new releases and everything. They do the perfume reviews and then a couple weeks or months down the line, you'd see a video coming out saying declutter. But their declutter is returning the fragrances. So they get these fragrances, do the reviews, get the views on their channel and then return it. And I was like, excuse me? Wow. So now, every time I see a declutter video, that's what comes to mind. I know that people like resell their fragrances and that, but if you tell me on Monday how much you love this fragrance and on Wednesday you're decluttering it, I'm unsubscribing. How quickly can your nose change? But yeah, I need to retire that. This person number two says, we need to retire using the word oriental. It's offensive to a lot of people and it really doesn't describe anything. I'm actually trying to remember if I've ever used oriental while describing fragrances. I don't think I've ever done that. The only time I can remember saying the word oriental is when I'm describing the Zara fragrance and the name of the fragrance is oriental. I don't think I've ever used oriental to describe a fragrance. So yeah, but it's offensive to a lot of people. So we need to retire saying that, yeah? Yeah. So their last one says, we need to retire the term niche quality when describing a designer fragrance. There is no such thing, just say that the fragrance is high quality. I won't lie, I'm guilty of this. I am so guilty of this, because I can remember, what was it? I think I was describing True Leather by Zara when I said this is of niche quality. So, <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is me, I'm in the wrong for this, but still, you guys know where I'm coming from, yeah? But, you know, I'm gonna try and say that things are now of high quality and not niche quality. On to someone else. So this, their number one is undisclosed partnerships, relations and free products. Yes, we've been there. Let us know. Let us know you got something free. Let us know you're being paid. Let us know. This person, number two says, people who describe with adjectives like amazing, suave, intoxicating. What the f does that mean? Exactly. You guys know how descriptive I get when describing a fragrance. Yes, I use words like intoxicating and amazing. I give you something to go with along with these words. Does that make sense? So I'm not just using these words for you to be like, oh, but what does amazing mean or suave? I give you a story. I give you a scenario. I, gi I give you something else. So I get where she's coming from. Yeah. I get it. And their last one says, people copying and pasting the same emoji to everyone post and videos and calling it interacting and engaging, LOL. Listen, I clocked on to this recently. There's this one person that I know that they have this one line that they say when watching everyone's video. Say I post my video and say the line is, your shoes are white, yeah? I'd like their comment and I'd reply to it. Then someone else would post another video and I go to watch that video and I see the same person in the comment section saying, your shoes are white. And I'm like, but you just posted that on my video. So then I'm like, you know what? Let me not even watch that too hard. I go on somebody else's video and the same comment that comes up, your shoes is, and I'm like, do you just copy and paste? So, I get where she's coming from and we need to stop doing this, okay? Retire this behavior. 
On to the next person. This person says, we need to retire pretending like everyone has smelled every fragrance. I don't get the point of comparing a fragrance to another fragrance without providing any explanation. And this is so true. Explanation, I might be watching a fragrance review and someone goes, oh, if you know what the patchouli smells like in this fragrance, then you'd know what it smells like in this. But I'm sorry, I didn't smell that one. So you're trying to tell me that I'm not gonna know what the patchouli smells like because I didn't smell this one and I'm here and trying to learn about this one. So I get where she's coming from, yeah, because not everyone has smelled every fragrance. I mean, come on. Then the person goes on to say, for my number two, I'd like to say pretentiousness. We need to retire that. People will go on Fragrantica to read the notes and then explain the fragrance, quoting directly from the list, even when the note is the most obscure. And this is so true, yeah. I get where she's coming from, but my two pence I'd like to add from that, I hate, ooh might be calling out someone again. It's fine if you put up the list of fragrances on the screen, cause I do that, yeah? I do that and then I'd pick all the notes that I pick up from the fragrance. I'll pick them out of that list, yeah? But I don't like coming on here and seeing people go, okay, sorry for the top notes we have and they're reading, I don't like that. Are you guys getting where I'm coming from? I can go on Fragrantica and read off the list. I don't want to watch you reading off the list. Does that make sense? That's what I meant, yeah. On to someone else, trashing body mist. Yes, we need to retire trashing body mist because she goes, some perform better than EDPs. And this is true. I have some body mists that will blow some perfumes out of the water, yeah? We need to retire trashing body mist. Again, her number two says, copying other influencers, give credit. Yeah, we spoke about this. Give credit where credit is due. Give onto Caesar what is due onto Caesar, yeah? Her last one is what got me like, yes, yes, sis. She goes, supporting brands that don't support us, whether it's sharing our images on their platform or refusing to pay us, yes. You have some people that would post some brands that don't even like them. I'm sorry? Yes, stop supporting brands that don't support you. Simple as, and you guys know what I mean by stop supporting brands that don't support you. You know what I mean. This person says we need to retire saying they love every fragrance. Yeah, come on. If you love every single fragrance, I can't trust you. I can't trust you. There must be one fragrance in this world that you don't like, but you love everything. Yeah, sorry, can't trust you. We need to retire saying things are affordable when they really aren't. She goes, when reviewers say it's an affordable fragrance video and you check the price and it's like over 300 pounds. Exactly. Affordable to you might not be affordable to me. You get what I mean? To me, I made a post recently on Instagram and I did say, you know, affordable to me is under 50 pounds, but then someone went, nah, 50 might be a bit too high. So to me now, yeah, affordable is under, under 30 pounds. Yeah, that's affordable. 300 pounds, babe, is not affordable. Where do you get that from? We need to retire that. This person says, we need to retire our reviewers who recommend a certain fragrance. Then a few videos down the line, they title another video, perfumes you're not supposed to buy. And it's the same fragrance that they recommended. Yes, I've seen this so many times. You can't tell me that you love this fragrance. Oh, this fragrance gives you so much compliments. Your boyfriend loved this on you. Your coworkers love it. And then a couple of videos down the line, perfumes not to buy. And the same one that you said you got compliments on is in that one. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, don't mess with me. We need to retire that. On to someone else. So this person says, calling it old lady fragrance. I kind of get where they're coming from with this because, you know, to me, fragrances are ageless. You get me? You could be 95 and wear Britney Spears Fantasy and you could be 18 and wear Halfetti by Penhaligans. I kind of get where they're coming from. I don't call fragrances old lady frags. I normally describe the note because you know how rose for example is you know associated with being old lady smelling so i kind of get where she's coming from but yeah we need to retire saying fragrances are like old lady or smelling old mature is fine but old lady yeah retire that they then went on to say i personally don't like straight note reading i like how you present a scenario exactly we said this earlier i can go on fragrantica and read off the notes why are you reading the notes straight from your phone your laptop your tablet to me when i can do that yeah cut that out of editing yeah yeah 
Then her last one says, it's not fragrance exclusive, but have presence in your videos. Be loud and expressive. Some have the knowledge, but are very monotone and talk like they have better things to do. Hashtag boring. And she goes, not loud as literally loud, but speak confidently. And I get this so much. I, I'm tired of telling you guys how you see me on camera is how I am in real life, but I'm worse in real life. I tone it down for my videos. In real life, I am loud. Ask any of my mates. I'm not saying putting on a fake persona, cause trust me, these people, your subscribers, they can smell a fake coming from a mile. Trust me, okay? So don't put on a fake persona. I'm not saying come and be someone that you're not. I'm just saying like, have a little something about you. Yeah, don't come in here and be like, yeah guys, it's, it's no zhuzh it up a bit yeah zhuzh it up a bit i think i'm onto the last person so we need to retire the word obsessed when describing fragrances i'm so over it so many other descriptors exist this is so true oh my god i'm so obsessed with this guys guys i'm so yeah we need to retire the word obsessed we need to retire scent of the day we don't care or i should say i don't care oh my god have i ever asked you guys what your scent of the day is i don't think i have but this subscriber actually doesn't. <laughs> so I don't think we should retire scent of the day, but we're all, you know, entitled to our own opinion. So she says we need to retire it. I'm just, I'm just saying what she says. Then she goes on to say, we need to retire empties. Don't care how many or which perfume you have finished. Ouch. I've never done an empties video before. Um, I did do a show me your dent video. Yeah, I've done that, but I've not done a empties or what fragrances are finished so i guess she says we need to retire that but as i said subjective some people love watching empties videos um she's just not a fan yeah yeah i'm now down to my final three yes guys yes the video is coming to an end so this one says talking down or bashing a fragrance because it's popular and this is so true we need to retire that okay because off the top of my head, Black Opium, La Via Belle, Good Girl, Flower Bomb. People are always hating on those fragrances. They smell good, but people hate them because they're popular. We need to retire bashing fragrances because they're popular. Because I love all of those that I just mentioned, yeah? And I still wear them to this day. So this one says, we need to retire by niche fragrances while going broke just to stay in the hype. I'm sorry, are people actually doing this? Imagine going in credit card debt. Imagine going broke while walking around smelling like armpits and vetiver. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's never that deep. Imagine going broke just to stay in the hype. Imagine going broke to please people on the internet. Wow crazy you crazy girl wow crazy you're crazy girl and the last one someone says we need to retire is clickbait thumbnails why is the fragrance in your thumbnail and you're not talking about it in the video yes why why would you put the fragrance in your thumbnail so that i can click it because you know i like that fragrance but when i watch your whole 37 minute video you didn't talk about the fragrance once what's going on yeah we need to retire clickbait thumbnails yeah well there you have it my loves those are some of the things that you lot think we should retire in the fragrance community yes some of them really you know mashed my corn but <laughs> It's all fun. It's all fun and games, okay? We're all entitled to our own opinions. I was just giving you lot, you know, some of what you lot wanted to hear. If you think I've missed out any, and if you guys want a part two, you could either one, you know, send me a DM on Instagram. Don't leave it in the comment section because then people are going to read it. And if I do a second video, it's going to be like, oh, rah, I read that already. Do you know what I mean? So send me a DM, send me a Snapchat. You get what I mean? If you'd like a part two or if you think I've missed out anything. But yeah. Well, my darlings, this is where I say my goodbyes. Thank you so much for watching. But before you go, don't forget to give me a thumbs up by clicking that like button. Comment. Uh, listen, I know half of you are... <laughs> I know half of you are already commenting throughout this video, so it's fine. I'm I'm sure I have so many comments already and I love you guys. I'm already laughing at the comments that I'm going to be receiving. Yes. Share this video with a mate. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I guess I'll see you in my next, if YouTube doesn't ban me, I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.
Bye. You guys know me and know that I like to show you guys my t-shirts, not being narcissistic, not being full of myself, far from that, yeah? But Carolina got this shirt done for me. Well, she didn't get it done. Carolina did this shirt for me. So big up yourself, Carolina, and thank you for my t-shirt. She got me and my girl's t-shirts done. So yeah, my shirt says Koi Kopebs. Isn't that cool? Yeah, this is not merch, no, mm-mm. I don't think I'll ever do merch, but I like my t-shirt. It says Coco Pebs, it's me. Mm -hmm.